I can't wait to put the top coat on. <laughs> Possibly tomorrow, if the weather's okay. So Karen brought a new lock. Before I take the lock apart, let's just check to see if this key works. I've already tried that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right, there's nothing in there. That's why. <laughs> it's just a faceplate. Huh. Come, does it? No. Yeah, what are the options? Grind off the... Yeah, I have no idea. No idea. Marketing any product, but if you're wondering what I've been using all day, it's just cutting cutting liquid. So you just use it on the end of your drill tip to help cut. Yay! And I'm grateful that today's sponsor of the video is Skillshare. What is Skillshare? Well, it's an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. So some of the categories they cover are graphic design, photography, filmmaking, marketing. I spotted a class that I thought you guys might like. I know some of you like the idea of starting videos yourself, but you're a bit nervous about sitting in front of the camera, which is understandable. So have you thought about podcasting? There's one called How to Make a Podcast by John Legomorsino. <laughs> and the one I'm curious about, I've just started watching, is called The One Yeast Dough You Need to Know by Julia Turnshin. I'm not big on baking, but I'm intrigued. I wouldn't mind knowing at least one simple recipe to do with yeast. And I must say the end result looks pretty tasty. <laughs> so... The first 1,000 people to click on the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. I'm now going to start the top coat, get the top section finished. It's a windy day out there, but I'm keen to finish painting the top of Vinny. I think one more roller coat and then I can take off the masking around the windows. And then I'm going to pause because I have to move soon. Limited time on this. And I also wanted to thank the people who have contributed towards this white night paint and the rollers and the solvent. And that's Brett, William, Karen, Sarah and Robert. Huge thank you guys.
I thought I'd properly introduce you. Okay. Yeah. This is um, Hater's uncle, Stephen. Yeah. Who's kindly let us crash for a few months on his land. I wouldn't say it's crashed. <laughs> Kia ora everybody out there and whatever land it is. Nice. Uh, I saw a film a long time ago. It was really not a really good film. Some of you might know it. It's called Gypsy Camp Vanishes Into the Blue. And every time I come down the drive, I think, Gypsy Camp Vanishes Into the Blue. <laughs> well, anyway, just Gypsy Camp. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> no, no, it's been, it's been all right having them here. Uh, yeah, and I'm glad that they've, that they've been here and had a sense of the place. Mm. Uh, Do you want to share a bit of history about how you got this farm? Or how long you've had it for? Yeah, we've been here for 22 years. Uh, it's a significant place historically. Uh, the boundary between two significant iwi who were fighting for 300 years uh, and then stopped and made peace. And this is the boundary line. Huh. The stream that runs through this property. I did not know that. It's general title, but I regard it as Māori land. Uh, my son's people, uh, his ancestors, were here living. Yes. Uh, but this was a buffer zone. Uh, and yeah. so it's, it's got a special significance for that reason. There's a seam of fossilised uh, shellfish in the rocks. And that seam apparently runs right across the North Island. And it's in the rocks over here, and big rocks that okay. have pushed themselves out of the ground. Good stuff. Okay. I'm learning quite a bit. <laughs> You're done? <laughs> no more? <laughs> no more. That's no enough. more? Thank That's you. <laughs> Have a pet. Moving day to day, I'm yeah, leaving the farm. I feel like I've been here for a long time. The weather last night it was so windy. The whole the bus was rocking all night and it's still gusty not my ideal drive towing weather but i've learned from experience that it can feel really bad here and then it's fine down the road so i'll be seeing hayden in a week so not that long really <laughs> all right throw over the wind Made it back to the apple orchard and boy, is it warm here compared to Wairua. I am actually too hot. So it's a little bit different now to what it used to be. This used to be absolutely covered in old apple trees, absolutely covered. But they've all been taken out and being replaced by hay for now. And yeah, campground's a little bit bigger than when I've been here before. Something new at the still want to call it apple orchard. <laughs> Something new at the apple orchard. You can store your RV here, pay a bit of cash, and, and yeah, leave it here. It is a pretty secure place, really. It's always someone around, someone watching. Just the last few apple trees left. What do you think? What are your thoughts on this? I guess it's a business to dick, but those trees were magical. They were. But it has been lovely catching up with everyone here and meeting new people too. It's got a great community here, really. <laughs> 